Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't want you to know everything about me. Jeez, Lee. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you with a very, very dry face because I am doing a get ready with me Q&A, but no get ready with me is, well no makeup look is complete without skincare first. So we're just gonna get straight into it. I'm just using the Fenty Skin Plush Puddin. It's actually so funny to see a moisturized lip around an unmoisturized face okay first thing I'm gonna do is use the glow recipe watermelon watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner it's been my favorite lately um, I just love all of the glow recipe things they just are so pretty and pink I also if you see under my eyes looks a little bit white I spent most of the day filming makeup looks and so <laughs> I put white liner under my like in my waterline so many times I feel like it's almost a permanent fixture just because of how many times I put it on and took it off I feel like it's gonna be there for like a day or two no matter how much I wash my face or use the I use like the cotton buds in there just to like get it off along with some like safe for eyes eye makeup remover she's still there i did actually get quite a lot off i've also just put on the ula henriksen orange boost mm -hmm. barrier booster orange ferment essence i use this all the time you would have seen it before if not there you go <laughs> Um, after that, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Revital Lift Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So we have that. It actually feels so good. I'm also fresh out of the shower, hence the row. The next thing that I'm going to use that I've actually been really enjoying using is this Cultured Biome Care Biome One Serum. It is. It's supposed to. Take care of your skin's microbiome which i think is a really cool idea and so far my skin has been loving it it's been really balanced and it's just been doing well and then as a serum or well, after your skincare routine well this is the glow recipe strawberry bha pore smooth blur drops it's pore refining and blurring i'm not going to use this after because you can use it like after your skincare just before you do your makeup but there's a specific kind of thing that i want to do so pop that on and then for moisturizer i use this revital lift filler thing um moisturizer lately and i have been obsessed it is incredible but today I'm going to use the Momo Puri moisture barrier cream anything that's kind of like really jelly kind of watery I love to use before I put my makeup on and I am very very generous with it so hydrated I'm gonna get into the questions after I do my skin prep okay next I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona or oh, this is now getting into my makeup routine so i always always use this skin glass serum it's incredible i love it so much and i use it all the time like in every single makeup routine that i do i literally have how many bottles do i have I don't, did i buy another one or is this one empty ish ah i have three bottles on my vanity right now I did throw one away that was like fully fully empty so I've gone through four bottles and that's just because I use it so much um, it's pretty expensive so I would recommend using it only for like special occasions or not using it as much as I do because sometimes I do like one drop one whole dropper and one whole dropper when you only really need like two to three tiny drops but you know me I love to glow <laughs> Okay, I'm just dropping everything. Do I need whatever just dropped? No, I don't. Okay. 
let's get into the questions. I took a screenshot. I took screenshots and I asked what people wanted to know on my Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm actually going to start with the basics. How? Oh, my name. My name is Tatenda. Luna actually isn't in my name at all. It was just a handle that I picked when I was making my TikTok and then it has stuck and I absolutely love it because I love the moon. So my name is Tatenda. Let me, let me, what am I going to do? I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing today <laughs> with my face. I didn't come in with a plan. Um, let's just, let's just, Let's just get to it. Okay, I'm going to use the Maybelline Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This is actually incredible. If you've seen the Charlotte Tilbury like glow thing, this is it, but cheaper. I just got my fingers. Anyway, I was born in on the 22nd of July, 1999, 1999, <laughs> 1998. That makes me a cancer. I'm kind of on the cusp. Someone did tell me that cusps don't exist, but someone also told me that cusps do exist. So I'm just gonna say yes because I resonate with the Leo memes as well. So I'm gonna call myself a cusp baby. <laughs> and I am a Scorpio rising. Cancer, moon, sun, and Scorpio rising. Um, those are my placements. I am, well that makes me 24. I've been telling people that I'm 25 when I've been out and about, and I feel like I'm just mentally preparing myself to say, oh, I'm 25, because I turned 25 in July. So crazy. I graduated high school in 2015. Um, I grew up in England. So I'm Zimbabwean. Zimbabwean born, British raised. So we moved to Zimbabwe when I, oh, not Zimbabwe, we moved to England from Zimbabwe when I was I want to say like two years old and then from there we lived there for like 10 years and then moved to Australia moved to Perth and then from Perth I recently moved to Melbourne last year which is so exciting so that is me and that is where I live I'm gonna have to be consulting my phone a lot for these questions there actually is no rhyme, reason, or order to these questions. Um, yeah, so I live in Australia now. I had lots of questions about my job and my studies, if I have any short-term career goals that I want to achieve, um, if I graduated, all of that. So I will just, I think I'm just gonna answer it all in one go oh, i don't even know where to start okay let's talk about my career okay we're going to talk about my career from the very beginning from what i've wanted to do since i was young i have known that i wanted to do fashion since from a very very young age in primary school i would always draw like outfits I would draw dresses and I would design things I remember one time I designed this whole um, oh, this is the KVD concealer I'm gonna link everything that I've used down below in my LTK just so you know if I stop talking and stop mentioning what things are <laughs> anyway so what was I saying Oh yeah, so I've known from a very, very young age. I think what inspired me was probably That's a Raven. That's a Raven, and I loved watching fashion TV, although there were, like, my parents stopped letting us watch it, or letting me watch it. After a while, my dad works in, um, he worked in mental health, specifically eating disorders, and he ran a small like private eating disorder like clinic in England and so he was like you shouldn't watch these things because they won't be good for your um for your mental health as a child looking at all of these bodies because this was what year was this this was like early 2000s and so there was not a single plus size 
or like mid-sized model in sight. <laughs> So, very fair, actually, of him to say that. I was upset, though. I was not, I did not appreciate it. Did not appreciate it at all. <laughs> anyway, and so even in school, I loved being creative. I loved arts and crafts and fashion. And I remember when I moved from, when I was moving from here, no, when I was moving from England, I was like, I'm gonna go to a fashion school and I'm gonna become a fashion designer. And this one kid, his name was Keon, he laughed at me and he said, you wouldn't, could never do it. And I was like, watch me. Anyway, so yeah, definitely that's a Raven inspired me. And I just like, yeah, I just love getting ready. I've always loved makeup. I've loved just everything in that fashion, beauty, skincare, that kind of stuff. And so I went to uni for fashion. And I know some people may be like, especially my other sim girls or like African girlies that are watching, they're like, how did your parents let you do that? They didn't let, I don't know if they didn't let my, they didn't approve of my sister doing, She, my sister wanted to do acting, so she wanted to go to an acting school and they were like, no, do something sensible. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like they were kind of just like, put all of that on her but not on me so I think that's how I was allowed to go I don't know and I think they also saw that I was interested in it from the get-go from the jump and there was literally nothing else that I would want to do my other options were nutrition and um, forensic science because I loved I just loved all that stuff I loved human bio I was not good with chemistry though, so I don't know. I don't know if that was necessary for me to be able to do that. And if it was, I don't know. I don't know what we would be today. But yeah, so I studied fashion and that is my degree. I have a Bachelor of Arts majoring in fashion design. And I graduated a while ago, actually. What happened was I, it took me five years to complete my degree because I started going part-time after I had some like really big relationship issues and I was like I actually I can't I can't do all of this and so I moved to do part-time and so I was only doing two units instead of four and I ended up graduating later, which actually worked out so well because I graduated with Zach, my boyfriend, and it was so lovely and it was just, it was so nice. I do have a graduation vlog up if you haven't seen it. Um, but I think, I think it all worked out in the end because I got to do that with him, which was so, so, so special. I'm gonna try something that I haven't tried before, which is, this contour stick from Fenty let's see how we go so that is that and then after uni I started all kind of towards the end of uni I started doing I started my label called testament the label oh geez would know oh geez would know it's she's still there the Instagram is still there and if you are, if you have been wondering, it will come back. She will be back, but just not right now. I started it and I was doing it all by myself and also working full time. So I was working at H&M whilst I was studying. And I just, once I graduated uni, I just kept working at H&M because I needed Obviously you need money and there weren't that many opportunities to intern or do any kind of fashion work in Perth because Perth is quite small um, and it's just not very, it's not very diverse in that regard depending on what you want to do. Um, and so I was working on my brand, I was also working full time and it was so good because at the same time I went viral on TikTok. I went viral on TikTok and I started posting my designs on TikTok and then people were like, oh my God, we want it. And so I was like, okay. And I 
burnt out so badly because I was making everything myself I was shipping everything myself I did get help a few times but that didn't end well and so I was like you know what I don't want to be selling this product and creating something that is just taking the life out of me and I want the quality to be like fantastic across the board and so it's something that I will need more help with and more support and so don't worry i am i am it's in the works she's in the works so she will be back but that is that and so how i got into this career what i'm doing now which that was a question how do i afford my lifestyle what job do i have this is my full-time job i am officially a full-time content creator oh my gosh it's been a year it's been a year i think this week since I quit my last job. So after I finished at H&M, I moved to a vintage designer boutique um, because I was like, I cannot work mainstream retail anymore. It sucks the life out of you. And it was just, it was just a lot. And I needed more flexibility because my TikTok was growing and I wanted to put more effort into it. And that job really allowed me that. I had really good bosses that were, um, just very supportive of like everything obviously like I still had to do good work for the company which you know is you have to anyway and I was happy to um, and so whilst I was there I have like is there like a hair here because it's really itchy anyway I was working on my TikTok. it started growing I started getting work I started working with one agency, it didn't really work out, we didn't have the same kind of goals moving forward and then I moved to oh, well, Max Connectors, my agency now, found me and I'm so glad that they did because ever since then it's just been so amazing. I've had the chance to work with some incredible brands, I have the best manager, um, Sophie if you're watching this, thank you, um, and it's just been so 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 amazing and I am incredibly lucky to be having the job that I have so that is how I afford my life <laughs> so my main source of income would be TikTok well, we don't have a creative fund so like videos that are posted on TikTok and then my secondary would be Instagram and then YouTube but YouTube YouTube is getting up there my YouTube family is growing and I'm so thankful for you all let me let me keep it pushing let me what's next <laughs> i just need to just behave like i'm like i usually do i'm gonna do this liner again uh because it will just look funky if i have residue i can't speak whilst i do this I'm actually gonna stop telling you what the products are because I think this will make the video way too long but I will put them down below in order of appearance <laughs> or it'll just be in my, LT in my LTK it'll just be in my LTK and you can write it there anyway so that's that my career goals um someone asked me what my career goals were like what my short-term career goals are I think my short-term career goal is to have um, this part of my face is so itchy. I feel like there is a hair here. What is going on? Is there a hair? If there is no hair, why are you itchy? What was I saying? Oh yes, my short-term career goal I think would be to get Testament back up and running because my initial dream career was to be a fashion designer. Um, I did want to be a fashion journalist at some point and I still do love writing. I have written a few articles and absolutely loved it. I'm so sorry. This just is going to stay itchy. Anyway, and I absolutely loved it. So I think that is, I think that's my short term career goal to have it back in a sustainable way that I absolutely love. So yeah. And I think another goal of mine probably to go on an international brand trip. I feel like that's a big goal. But I also feel like I've done so many incredible things that I wouldn't have even imagined myself doing. 
and so I feel like I've like this is the goal which you know I don't know it's just yeah I'm so thankful I'm just so thankful anyway another question was what my go-to blush is and it is the callback cheek and lip it's the cheek and lipstick in the shade callback from REM Beauty <clears throat> thank you Ariana so it's either this which is a really bright pink or Java by Benefit Cosmetics which is absolutely stunning maybe I should do that instead I'll put it on top to like mute the cover but sometimes I like to do both anyway which is what I'm gonna do today anyway Speaking of Zach, <laughs> someone asked how we met. So, we met at, we met at church, and then when we, we found out that we went to the same uni, and I was in a relationship when we met, so I was like, oh cool, we go to the same uni. And then I started going to, I was going to lunches with one of my friends that works at the uni. And he was like, oh, I've been having lunch with like you guys on different days, but you guys know each other. So let's all just have lunch together. And I was like, okay, sure. And so we had lunch and we would, that's how we got to know each other. And then I got out of the relationship that I was in and then I was like, hey. <laughs> and then we got together. So yeah, that's how we met and that's how we got together. It's actually like more long-winded than that, but we do not have the time to get into any of that. Someone asked me another question about relationships as well. Let me find it. How does one seek romantic relationships? Apps are an endless pit to hell I'm so sorry um I don't know I feel like even if I think about now now that I don't have the space like because me and Zach met at church but I don't have that anymore I feel like I would meet if I wasn't on the apps my sister met her current partner on the apps and they're soulmates but if I wasn't on the apps how would I do it I seen people meet through TikTok. But once again if I wasn't on the apps I would probably have met someone through work I know that that's really tricky because you're technically not supposed to date co-workers um, but my job is pretty unique so I think I would have met someone that way or met someone through like a friend of a friend that I would have made now I go to things like F45 and Pilates I would have like gone to dance classes get to know get to make a friend and then the kinds of the kind of friend that you make will kind of show what their friends are like so you know how like people reflect other people I feel like if you have good friends and their friends are generally going to be kind of good people sometimes sometimes they're not sometimes they are um so i feel like that's a good way to meet new people is through activities because that way you're like oh we have a mutual interest that is my only advice from someone that has not been in the game ever really yeah because my first relationship was straight was like throughout high school straight out of high school and then my second relationship was so quick after my first relationship so I don't know I don't know if I'm like a good person to to give advice on this the Sun is setting and I'm running out of running out of daylight hours what or who inspired my fashion choices Ooh, good question I don't know I feel like random people on Pinterest inspire my fashion choices to be honest and I also think that my fashion choices aren't inspired by well technically it is by people but not by like <laughs> not by like 
people people but by designers so some designers that i really really love i've loved cecily bonson for years for years and years and years and i'm so glad that she's like you know like everyone's getting to see like how incredible her work is so there's that um who else have i absolutely loved um minju kim uh sandy liang so like those kinds of brands like that aesthetic i think i really love and also pinterest i think generally that inspires a lot of my fashion choices whatever i'm watching at the time and just anything that makes me feel really pretty and really floaty i don't know i feel like that's a good word floaty ethereal anything that makes me feel like that i will wear i was thinking and i actually feel like i've done a q a before it's always good to do like an updated one um um, um oh I, I didn't answer which uni i went to i went to Curtin university in perth western australia um someone is asking if i am proud of myself now i think i am wait no i am i am proud of myself i'm really proud of myself for persevering through a bunch of things um i'm proud of myself for coming out of the other side of a lot of a lot of stuff it's so funny i found a um note that i wrote to myself at the end of 2018 and the beginning of 2019 i was like I feel like you're just gonna go through a lot of things but I think that this year is going to be a year where you really come into yourself you let go of the things that aren't serving you and 2019 was something else it was something else and I don't know if I manifested that into my life um, but yeah 2019 was was that year for me um and i think from then on i've just been growing and growing and growing and i'm just i'm really proud of myself um what did i do prior to being an influencer oh i think i i think i yeah i think i answered that question Someone says I actually look like Sissa. Thank you. <laughs> I actually, it was so funny. I was at Yochi the other day and this girl that was at the serving thing, I think her name was Zoe. She was like, has anyone ever told you you look like Sissa? And I was like, a few people. <laughs> By a few, I mean like a couple million. <laughs> anyway, and I was like, yeah, like, I, I like I guess thank you and then she was like there's this girl on TikTok and she did and she looks like SZA she kind of looks like you and she did this makeup routine to look like SZA and I was like girl I think that's me and she was like oh my god and I was like yeah <laughs> it was so funny and it was so so much fun it actually made my day um so yeah I just found that hilarious but I always get really awkward when I meet people that follow me I usually say thank you for following me because it like actually does mean a lot and you know um, you're a part of the ooh, the couple million of people that have changed my life um, but then I'm like where do we go from here <laughs> I'm like yes thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> I feel like we're blurry now. Can you even see what I'm doing with my face? Ah, there we go. So, yeah, let me do my eyebrows. I usually shave my the ends of my eyebrows and I think they're growing back a little bit, but we're here. I also recently started using brown, a brown pencil on my eyebrows. And I don't know why I didn't do that before. I also have no idea where my brow gel brush has gone oh lord and we're still running out of daylight did i put foundation on no i didn't that's good where is it 
you know what when all else fails no let's not do that today we're not gonna put mascara on our eyebrows today you know what's gonna happen i'm going to stop filming and then i'm gonna see it i'm gonna see it i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna go well where were you where were you it's the sigma brow brush and it's silver and it is not here do you know how to cartwheel yes yes i do i haven't done it in a long time probably since like early high school there's a point where you just stop doing handstands and cartwheels that's really sad and she's still blurry maybe you should come closer come closer oh whoa whoa <laughs> that is a dark brow i had a question about my hair love your hair is it a thank you Love your hair. Is it a closure sew in, wig sew in, or something else? So pretty. Thank you very, very much. I have no idea, like what, what image or video of me that you're referencing when you ask this question, because there's a lot of there's a lot going on. So right now, this is my hair. This is my hair. See, see, you can probably tell. My hair is relaxed. I've been relaxed since October no no December December last year December or November around that time that's how long I've been relaxed for it's been a journey it's been fun I love it I love being relaxed um, and it's not that deep it never was that deep and it never will be that deep <laughs> maybe I'll go through my hair journey at some point but that is where we're at um, I also have a wig. Sometimes I have a ponytail and the really long human hair ponytail is from Zala hair extensions. Sometimes I have a shorter ponytail and it's synthetic. I have three and they are from Polished Pony. Sometimes or lately I have a wig that kind of gives like Matilda Jeff blowout. That is from Aziza Avenue. Sometimes I have a wig with bangs. That is from Amazon. I cut the bangs myself. Other times I have a very, very curly wig, kind of like a water wave wig. That is from Amazon. Prior to that, I my gray hair, which is my magnum opus, and she will be back. Maybe in winter, I don't know, maybe when I go to Tokyo. I might, oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, that's when she'll be back. That is from AliExpress. So only recently have I started buying wigs from Amazon, but I always used to buy them from AliExpress and there is no rhyme or reason to the way that I buy wigs. I just, I just see, maybe read a review, maybe not, and I buy. So I don't have like a vendor that I like to go to and I also don't keep track of where they come from. I'll try to, or at least try find something that's similar or see if I can look at my order history. Um, but those are my wigs. Oh, the blonde one recently is from Queen Virgin Remy. Um, and I love that wig. Where is it? When was the last time I wore it? Anyway. So... That is my hair situation and I have been using hair products to grow and take care of my hair um, my hair has been bleached it's been short it's been relaxed before and I went natural um, hair is hair and it grows back so someone asked for my inner monologue what are your pronouns my pronouns are she her I feel like I should have led with that like that's like your basic information about someone Anyway, you're so gorgeous. What's your skincare routine? I feel like I just showed it just now, but I'm always showing it in my vlogs, but I think I'll do like one dedicated video, but it also changes a lot. I feel like someone, <clears throat> as someone that does like skincare, beauty and makeup influencing, can we focus please? I'm about to do my lips and that's kind of important. Actually, I'm not about to do my lips. You know what I'm about to do? 
I'm about to do my freckles because it's a freckle day. Um, as someone that is like a skincare and beauty influencer, I get sent so much skincare. And I feel like if you just keep keep track, or maybe I'll, I'll also make a video, of the things that are reoccurring, those are actually products that I like and I use and um, I enjoy. So my skincare routine is everywhere. Um, and I also, on my LTK, I have like sections like product lists of my skincare routines for different needs so if you're ever wondering that's a good place to go what products do you use for your freckles <laughs> well great i use a bobby pin and my contour bronzer shade simple as that and then i just do this where are you getting your clothes from they're amazing omg my clothes come from all over the place. I have a bunch of brands that I really love that um, I can now shop at um, because I couldn't afford to before. So I've got like a dress from Hanifa, gorgeous. Um, stolen stores. Um, I recently got a custom corset and skirt set from this studio called Atasan Studio. Daily Sleeper um, and obviously all of the brands that I mentioned before like Cecily Bonson and stuff I haven't purchased from them but on the more affordable end um, Glassons has really good basics I don't think I've shopped at H&M much since I've stopped working there House of CB I bought a few of their dresses what's another store that I just always go into I feel like that's it. I do have a few things from Princess Polly as well. But yeah, I think that that's, that's it. Oh my gosh, it's like rapidly getting darker. Can you see that it's getting darker or is it just me? I think it's just me. This is not in English. Oh wait, you can translate it. See translation. Do you prefer to go back in time or go to the future? Oh, I don't know. I feel like the future, I mean, I wanna know, but I don't wanna know at the same time. So I'm gonna say, maybe back in time, to a specific point in time um, where I didn't think so much, where I hadn't realized things yet. I think that's, that's where I wanna go. Ignorance is bliss, guys. Okay. Um, what you'd be like if you were a princess? Hmm. A princess what would I be like I have no idea what do you think that I would be like if I was a princess and then what would you be like if you were a princess or a prince or royalty I think like one of my dreams is to live off the land <laughs> and have a farm with like wildflowers. Maybe that's the kind of princess I would be. Where are your clip-in extensions from? Oh yeah, sometimes I have clip-ins in as well, since we're talking about my hair. And those clip-ins are also from Zala Hair Extensions. I think well, that is it for the questions. Great timing because I can literally see the sun going down behind these buildings. Should my lip be glossy? No. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot. Where is it? Here it is. 
This is the one. Okie dokie. That is it. Some rapid fire answers. Let's go whilst I do my hair because this is not this is not the look for the day. Um I am a Enneagram 4 INFJ. These answers are actually kind of all over the place. Me and Zach have been together for three years. I wanna say that. We've been together for three years. We had our anniversary in February. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> um, I, think, I don't I don't have any other things like I think I've answered all of my frequently asked questions so you know what we're not gonna do anything too crazy with our hair just pull it back like that Next time, I think I want to do like something really interesting with my eyeshadow. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done something like that, but you know what? I have forgotten. I forgot highlighter. Let's, let's put her on real quick. This is what happens when you start chit chatting away. Again, I feel like I don't know how much of this video was blurry, so I don't know what you actually got to see me do and what just didn't translate. But this is the final look. This has kind of like been my updated go to makeup look. Um, I don't wear makeup every day. I think that's another thing that I want to answer. I don't wear makeup every day. Um, I only, are you serious right now? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, maybe I need to press this button. I'm actually still kind of getting used to, to this camera. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's better. It's, I just needed to put it on auto this whole time. Anyway, it still looks so bright. It looks like it's fully daytime, but it's actually feeling pretty dark in here. Anyway, I want to my tea. I just want to say that I don't wear makeup every day. Oh, someone else asked me a question and that will be answered in another video. The question was, um, what is a makeup routine that you would recommend that's got no foundation for someone that goes to school and I want to do a video on um, what I would do at school I used to go to a private school and so the rules and restrictions were a little bit more intense and so I feel like that would be a perfect video for anyone that's like wanting to look a little bit like nice at school because I feel like when I was growing up and I was really interested in like skincare and makeup and all that kind of stuff, everyone was like, you're too young, you shouldn't be doing this to your skin, blah, blah, blah. But I was interested in it. Well, what are you going to do? Like, you know? So I will show you what I would do if I were you again. Um, but yes, I don't wear makeup every day. I usually only wear makeup for work. Even going on dates, I don't wear makeup. Um, depending on the date, like if we're going somewhere like fancy, actually one of our fancy dinner dates, I didn't wear makeup, I just did my hair really nice, I wore a really nice dress, really nice outfit, and went without makeup because I do value my skincare a lot. Um, and my skin, it's not sensitive in the sense that it reacts to everything, but it's sensitive in the sense that it does not like wearing makeup for too long. Um, so if I ever do makeup, it's for like half a day and then the rest of the day, no makeup. 
or it's for like an evening for like a couple of hours. So that is my makeup routine done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for asking questions. If you have any other questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments down below. But also let me know what kind of makeup looks you'd like me to do in the future as well because I love sitting down and chit chatting and doing makeup. I think I'm going to be doing that a bit more than vlogs um, for the next couple of weeks just because I just love it. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.